Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Master System games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. And the first of these is going to be RetroArch. This is going to be a free emulator that we're going to be using to play Master System games on our Android device. So the first thing you need to do is get this installed. Once this is installed, we're going to be backing out of here. And we're going to be searching for and installing a second app called the Archiver. This is going to be another free app we're going to be using on our Android device. We're going to be using this to locate and extract games a little bit later on. This is an app I'd recommend having on your phone regardless. Once you have both of these installed, we're going to be opening up RetroArch for the first time. If this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage as we're going to be locating the games a little bit later on with this app. So the first thing we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top. And here we'll see a list of all currently installed cores in RetroArch. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking the download a core option. And from here, we're going to be scrolling down until we see the Sega titles, looking for any core that says dash MS. In this case, I'm looking for particularly the Genesis Plus GX core. This is the core I'd recommend using the most. However, most of these with MS in the title should work without a problem. Problem, although Genesis is the one I've had the most luck with, but you can experiment with the others if some things are giving you issues. To install your core, simply click on it. Some text will appear at the bottom, and once this text disappears, your core should be installed and you're ready to move on to the next step. Once you have that installed, we can simply click back on the top left. We're going to be going into our load core option, and then we're going to be clicking on the core we just downloaded. In this case, it's right here, and then our core is going to be loaded. From this point, we're ready to talk about games, and that's where the archiver comes in. In this case, I already have a folder specifically for my games. In this case, I have Mickey Mouse right here in a zip file. Now, most likely you will be able to play games from a zip. Although if your games come in a .7 zip or a .rar format, you will need to extract your games to be able to play them. And that's where we're going to be using Z Archiver. Now, from this point, I will mention, I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to download games. Although games are really, really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out. And you should find plenty of options to get your games. However, if your games come in a .7 zip or a .rar format, we can simply load up with Z Archiver, locate where your games are, click on it once. And then from here, we'll have two options to either extract here, which is going to extract our games in our current location, or extract dot 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 if you would like to choose where you'd like to extract your games. In this case, I'm just going to be extracting them here. And you can see my game is in a dot SMS file, and that's a Sega Master System file, and that's exactly what we need. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here. We're going to be going back to RetroArch, and now we're going to be loading the content and locating to where our games are. To do this, simply click the load content option, and then you need to locate to where your games are downloaded. In my case, you can see I have them right here in the Sega Master System folder. Simply select the game you just downloaded. If you have multiple cores that can read this file, you will have to select the core. In this case, I'm going to be selecting the Sega Genesis core I just downloaded before, and then your game should load up. I believe for 90% of phones, the game should be running perfectly smooth because this is a pretty low powered system and everything should work like that. No problem. To bring up the menu, once you're in your game, you can simply click the RetroArch icon here. You then have the option to close content and a bunch of other things. I would recommend adding an external controller to this. In this case, I have a previous video showing you how to do that. I'll leave a card on screen right now, and I'll leave a link in the description down below to show you how to set up a controller. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega Master System games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time, guys, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.